As new cases of COVID-19 and positive test rates have gone up in Florida and across much of the nation, our federal health experts say we have to change the way we test. We're going to continue to be in a lot of trouble, and there's going to be a lot of hurt if that does not stop. Dr. Fauci, the National Institutes of Health, and the CDC all say we have to ramp up pool testing. That means putting nasal swabs from multiple people into one test tube. And if the test tube comes back negative, you know all the people grouped into that one test are negative. So you don't have to run individual tests on each one. And if a tube tests positive, you go back and do individual tests for everyone in that group. Mathematically, if you pool test in areas with lower infection rates and run individual tests in the hot zones, it would stretch supplies and speed up testing. Right now, as Gerard said, we're doing 500,000, 600,000 tests a day. If we can pull samples five to one, that would bring it to three million tests a day. In addition to pooling samples into groups, our nation's health experts say we also need much more community-wide testing. This is something we have to a certain extent in Florida. For example, the University of Miami has been randomly sampling people in South Florida to find how prevalent the virus antibodies may be among the general population. Well, our federal leaders say we need to do the same thing, but with nasal swabs and on a much larger scale. We've got to get dust on the boots. We've got to find the people and test entire communities to get our positive cases. That's the type of action we've seen in North Carolina, and that's what we need in these other local communities. But we don't know if the Trump administration can pull any of this off because President Trump has said he does not want to speed up testing. He said he wants to slow it down. When you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people. You're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. After the president said that, his team passed it off as a joke. He told his people to slow down testing is not true. It was a comment that he made in jest. It's a comment that he made in passing. Come on now. That was tongue in cheek. But that did not hold up because the president responded by saying it was not a joke. I don't kid. Let me just tell you. Let me make it clear. He said the point he's trying to make here is that the media does not acknowledge that infections are going up because the United States is doing more testing. But that also does not hold up. The U.S. has led the world in the number of tests given, but we're still lagging much of the world in tests given for each confirmed case, and that's the benchmark that experts say we should use. As Johns Hopkins notes, testing programs should be scaled to the size of their outbreak. And our world data shows when you compare the scale of testing to the scale of the outbreak by nation, the U.S. has been near the bottom of the chart for weeks. This week we checked in at 16th in the world. Our governor and nation's health experts say it is not more testing driving the kinds of increases in new cases that we're seeing. It's increasing community spread in states like Arizona, Texas, and Florida. And the more you test, the more you expose where the virus is spreading, which is critical to fighting the virus and preventing further spread. That's where the administration got it wrong at the start of the pandemic, by producing and distributing test kits that did not work. Now, as they develop a new testing process, they know this time it better work.